I'm just I, I can't I can't even express my feeling. Eh bien, Honestly, pas because, ses um, I'm Florence, Princess Florence Monday. Yes, yes, from Opoparax, Dede. Elle vient de Dede. I will go straight to the points. 14 years, I was feeling severe pains. Elle avait des douleurs. After three kids. Après avoir eu trois enfants. So I am um, very sharp pains in my head. Elle avait des douleurs dans But la tête. As of uh, last week Sunday. Et dimanche dernier. Our uh, Father in the Lord preached about altar. Et notre père a demandé de prier sur l'autel. When I reach home, et lorsque il arrive à la honestly, maison, the pains, the sharp pains, vanish like that. Et les douleurs ont disparu. Is that how you are celebrating God? Acclamons le Seigneur. A Sicilian pain that has been there for 14 years just disappeared like that. By his grace, my name is Pastor Mrs. Promisa Lile from Benin, Edo State. I want to really thank God for what God has done for me. Early this year, we discovered Champion Television. I'm, I'll be following it up. Then June this year, my husband made it to Abuja, yeah, this very place. He came for impartation. And for my only daughter that was seriously sick, I got her. After nine years of marriage, God gave me that child. And now my marriage is 18 years on. Nothing, just that child. And the devil has been trying all way to make sure he takes the child away. But the God of champion disgraced them. When my husband come in contact with our papa, and the, you know the miracle water, I come in contact with the miracle water. When he came back from the program in June, we applied the miracle water. My do, we've taken her to, you know, several hospitals. We ranted. They will say nothing is wrong, but she was down. Immediately, the miracle water was ministered, was applied to her. Instantly, she stood up and started to play. Champion, praise the Lord! And I know that I will come back again next year on this same mountain to thank God for my miracle baby. Praise the Lord! Et remercie le Seigneur lorsqu'elle a eu l'eau miraculeuse ici. Elle a appliqué We want to know for how long has your daughter been sick? Since last year. It is Since feet. last year. And coming in contact with the miracle water. She's up on her feet and she's walking. Yes, sir. Can you appreciate this, God? Praise the Lord. Yep. My name is Farida Tsumba. I've come to return all praise to God. Elle est venue rendre la gloire à Dieu. I would have been burned to ashes. Elle est dû, n'est-ce pas, être pris par le feu? But God's mercy said no. Mais la miséricorde de Dieu l'a sauvé. Um, the, my boss traveled and left his uh, company apartment with me. Son, and son patron a voyagé et lui a laissé l'appartement. While I was there, I do have cold feet. Then Et lorsqu'elle était là, elle avait eu des fièvres. I stood up. I said, "Car, I need to take a cup of tea. I'm having cold feet right now." Et elle a décidé de prendre une tasse de thé. I went inside the kitchen. I put water on the gas. Elle est partie dans la cuisine. Elle a mis de l'eau sur le gaz. La cuisinière. Closed the kitchen. Elle went a fermé la cuisine. Went to take a half shower. Elle est venue prendre la douche. After the shower, I came back to the sitting room. Elle est venue maintenant au salon. While sitting there, I fell asleep. Lorsqu'elle était assise, elle s'est endormie. But I thank God, the elle... split unit was on timing. Et lorsque elle, elle, elle s'est endormie, maintenant elle remercie le Seigneur. Yeah. Then when it was time for it, it came up. And then I stood up. I remember that, oh, I'm going to have cold feet now. The, the split unit is on. Et maintenant, elle s'est réveillée parce qu'elle s'endormait. 
That was when I went inside the kitchen. Et lorsque elle est partie dans la cuisine. And I discovered I left the gas on. Et elle s'est souvenu qu'elle avait laissé la cuisinière allumée. The pot got burnt. Et le, le pot s'est brûlé. But God heard the smoke. Et il y avait la fumée. Underneath the pot was reddish. Et tout était tout rouge. And nothing happened. And when I, I turned off the, 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 the gas, I picked up the, the, the pot. The pot was cold. I said, how could this happen? Elle a pris le pot. God. Au lieu d'être chaud, c'était tout froid. Et comprenez pas, quelque chose qui a pris du feu, mais qui était tout froid. I've come to return all praise to God. Elle est venue rendre la gloire à Dieu. I don't know what would have happened. Mais c'est pas ce qui That serait passé. That is a company apartment. It's not mine. Not even for my pot. It belongs to the company. Let me break it down so you can understand. This is a company's apartment. That was left for her. She put something on the gas and she went to sleep. The whole thing burnt, the pot got burnt, but there was no smoke in the house and there was no fire in the company's apartment. Acclamons it's only God that can do this. Acclamons le Seigneur pour tout ce qu'elle a fait. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord. I want to share this testimony on behalf of my brother who is in Lagos. He tapped me about two Lagos. weeks ago. I brought the, pi uh, uh, the pictures of my siblings to, to Papa to pray on them sir. and he lay us on them. Last, uh, day, uh, yesterday, day for yesterday, my brother said he was coming from a wedding. All of a sudden, a trailer fell break very close to synagogue. He doesn't know what happened. He doesn't know how he came out from the vehicle. He just jumped out. He was watching others dying on the roads. So many things happened. He was just shivering, calling God, God, how, how did it happen? I don't know. I know it is God of this altar that did it for me. If not for the fact that I brought their picture, all my siblings, I gathered their brother, I said, Papa, please, touch them. Last week, it, I don't know what would have happened. I know as a chatterman, I will not bury anybody, and nobody will bury me. My name is Mrs. Augusta Ovili. I, I have a testimony. Since two years ago, I've been suffering from stomach problems from one hospital to another. We did several tests, both ultrasound, everything. The doctor said there's nothing. They cannot find anything. Till the day we locate Champion Television in our house, we saw miracles. So me, I and my husband will now locate this place. We came here on Saturday, we book for deliverance. So on, on Monday, after the service on Monday, we were here. We met Papa. We now laid the complaint that Papa, look at what is my problem. I'm having stomach problem. He now prayed for me with the miracle water and the anointing. He said, it's over. And I said, amen. So when I went back home, we now meet with my husband, we pray with it, we minister it every day. I use it in the morning, I use it in the evening. I say, God, the man of God, I say, it's over, and it's over. I don't want to know it, but it is over, since they cannot see anything. One week after that miracle water, I now start feeling stomach problem again. They now took me to the hospital. What the doctor cannot see for long, they have found different kind of, they have even confused. Is when immediately I went there without no ultrasound, they just touched the womb and said, Ah, this is our appendix. So ha, I was shocked. Everybody was shocked. Say, appendix? Why? How? And they didn't give me any drugs. So immediately they rushed me to the theater room. They gave me different kind of uh, injections. I couldn't sleep. There's nothing. I said, God, devil, you are a liar. So far in me, I believe in the man of God. Our papa said that it's over and it's over. I just pray that moment. I say, God, 
If you can do it for many people, we shall see the miracle that the man of God has been doing with the miracle water. You are going to do my own too. I pray. I supposed to be housed in that um, theater in one hour. I was there two hours. I couldn't sleep. I slept off. They finished the uh, operation and I was sound and healthy. I just give all the glory to God. Not to Can you clap for Jesus? Not to say the new. The application of the miracle water exposed what the enemy has planned and meant to kill her. Can you appreciate God? Hallelujah, Hallelujah Lord, that's your name. My name is Mrs. Esther Sidmon. I want to testify to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. It happens on the ninth of this month. My husband and I we wanted to go and visit. We wanted to go and visit his late uh, brother's wife. On our way going to Nyanya, we thank God, if not God of champion, something else could have happened to us. When we were going, before we left the house, when we left the house, we prayed. According to what my husband prophesied, it came to pass. Because he mentioned the God of champion. He said, God of prophet Joshua Igila, take over. Immediately we left the house. Devil is on the way, waiting for us. When we got to Nyanya, we wanted to cross the road. On our way, we were looking at the oncoming vehicles. Before we could realize, a bike was coming towards our side. He took the wrong way. When my husband wanted to cross the road, the bike wanted to hit him. But God of champion, God of champion kept my husband alive. I appreciate God for that. Secondly, I want to appreciate God. Because whenever there is storm in my family, Whenever I mention the God of Prophet Joshua Igila, whenever I mention that name, the storm will come. So I want to appreciate God for that. I want to give God the glory for what He has done for me. Because the spirit of death is for seniors. Yesterday, when I was coming to champion here, if not God of champion, something else could have happened to me, but I thank God of champion. to thank God for what God has done to me. I want to return all, his, all the glory to him and let the shame return to the devil who thought I would continue to remain as an asset, as a furniture in the house. Nothing to show. But after 12 years, after I came here for the white service, everybody, uh, the service, everybody were wearing white. Papa told us that uh, uh, we are going to sit in the seat and whosoever that the seat has lost that those people are going to recover back. So as I came in with my own faith, I said, God, I will not come all the way from Calabar to come here and without achieving anything. So I came here and I sat down comfortably. I said, God, I have achieved everything that I've lost. Everything the canker worms have eaten for years. After 12 good years, I went back to Calabar. My mom was going to school, the unical, as he was passing by. In my, uh, one of my lecturers called her. He said, ah, your daughter's certificate is around. Oh, tell her to bring uh, wine. When my mother came by, I said, ah, how come? My mother said, he doesn't know how he came. So from there, my mother, I said, my mother, I will go the following day. So when I, I went back to the following day, look at my certificate for a good 12 years. After 12 years. After 12 years. Yes. Uh, you are just looking like that. After 12 years. My certificate of diploma came out. 
And after I have been uh, sitting at home, I was always trying to take this jam concerning the faculty of law because that was the department I wanted doing. But no way, I've sat jam for good four, uh, four times, nothing to show. So after I came back from, uh, uh, from this uh, altar, after I've sat down in my seat, I came back. My name was among the 35 people, and I was among the 35. The first list, my name came out among the uh, people that were admitted into the faculty of law. I said, I did not know how to, I did not know what to do. I said, God, I am, anytime I come here into this altar again, that I will give glory to the Almighty. And I want to thank God for my brother I brought. He was always having a, he's, he's, uh, always having a, a psychiatric problem in the brain. I came with him here. And I was uh, walking with him towards the seat. I told him, sit, sit down there. I'm going to, my faith and my faith and the faith of this altar, God must redeem you. So after my brother has left here, this is a, 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 my, a brother that, if he doesn't take these drugs, that is how the thing uh, used to, have, uh, used to yes. torture him. But after I left here for a good four months, he has not been taking drugs. Not hey! Hey! For good four years, insanity disappeared. Nothing has happened. Each time I use the miracle word, I say, drink, this is your medicine. I wake up in the night, 12 minutes, I said, every spirit that is always behind you, that spirit must go. And as I'm talking to you now, I don't be, I, he doesn't take that drug. Each time, he always goes to, uh, to the psychiatric hospital. But as I'm talking to you now, he is... My name is Okosia A. Joseph. I'm from Bayesa State. I come to testify the goodness of God in my life and the life of my family. I come from a family that we have been having the problem of spirit of death and sickness. A lot of things have been happening miraculously in my family that I cannot explain. Right now, as I'm talking to you, let my father has ten children. Half have gone. Now, I'm the last born, and I'm the breadwinner of the family. The remaining people are alive. I'm the physically people, person on the ground that I can move. All the other ones are sick. So, it's to go home become a problem to me. My brothers and sisters, children are dying also. On the 4th of June, my most elder brother died, of which that has been my father right now. But, I decided to bury him as my father. Then on the July 3rd, my elder sister, daughter, also died. So now, to go home become a problem. I said that I must see the man of God if I go home. I came here, I met the man of God, he prayed for me and told me categorically that I should go, nothing will happen to me. I will go and come back. I got the anointing of miracle water to my house. The following day, my wife had a very serious Stomach problem. By anointing, the, using the anointing water to minister to herself, the pains disappear immediately. That is the first miracle. I have the strong belief that nothing will happen to me and my family. I drove from here to Bayasa by myself for the first time with my family. No problem. Before I move, I use the miracle water spray on my car, the, uh, the sticker was on my car. I claim champion in my family and in my life. I went there and buried my brother, do everything possible to make sure that everything goes well. The following day, as I reached home, when I woke up, I have a very strong uh, 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 neck problem. So when I turned, my people asked me, what happened? I said, devil is a liar. I used the miracle water, the anointing water, and spray on my neck. The pain disappeared. I give God the glory. I call, I say, God of prophet Joshua Igile, you promised me that if I go, nothing will happen to me. I want to see your power. I stayed there for complete two weeks. And I came back about four days ago with my family, no problem. Everything was fine. 
own people are fine and I claim that no death will ever visit my family again in Jesus name thank you Jesus Blood. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. Over four years now, I'm looking for a job everywhere. And God has done it for me. For I, I, my CV, they called me at, on Thursday. I did for hours. My phone rang. I answered the call. They said, Make a report headquarters for I need for my appointment letter. That this is the appointment letter for the Lord. I testify the glory of God in my life. The God has done it in my life. After four years, he was just sitting. And he was called by INEC. And here is the appointment letter. Can you appreciate God for this miracle job? After four years. You may not understand what I'm trying to say now. Before I came into this church, if you know what is called poverty, poverty has greed. <laughs> so the one that was on me was 200 over 100 percent. I said 200 over 100 percent. Even Papa can bear me witness. And when you are talking about this poverty I'm talking about, God has given you triplets and there's poverty there, you know what it means. And if I bring those children to you, you won't believe because that one is dangerous. Because people may be thinking I have, they will not like to help. But to the glory of God, they are fine. Then the testimony I'm trying to give now is by last two Sundays, Papa gave a prophecy that 24 hours time some people will share testimony. So I came here on Monday as I was going back to Edo State. As I was just coming down from the bike, I saw a text message. As I was about to read the text message, the person now called me and said, Bring your men to Porter Court. There's a job for you. Hey! As he was about to read the text message, the person called. So I was given a two-story building. Did you hear him well? I don't think you heard him well. If you heard him well, you will clap for Jesus. To the surprise of the people there, the building, they are preparing it for the first decade now. So that is the world of them we are surprised. And they were asking me, how do I do it? I say, we have, I have many people working with me, but you cannot see them. That is my God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Our name is Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Najego. We are from Kuala State, though we are original of Anambra State. And in my family, there has been this series of uh, premature death, very mysterious. Even this year, we have buried two people. So, and after burying the last person, I started seeing coughing in my dream again. I said, ah, what's the meaning of this? Then the fear of this, and uh, among other things, make me to run down to this place. On getting here, I booked for my deliverance, and uh, it was a Monday. Papa just laid his hand on me and said, you are free. 
Although I wanted to see him, but I was not satisfied because it's like you don't know what I'm passing through. Uh, do, but when I go home that night, I dreamt in my dream. I saw myself chained in my, in my la two lap, like, like this and two legs like this. Papa and I came that day and I said, ah, Why are you like this? Now I lose those. Uh, Is this how to appreciate God? So he now lose those chains. And after that, the zeal for the things of God, I mean, my, there was burning desire, that my spiritual life just increased. Even if I'm working on the Lord, that is, this, I will be feeling like I want to pray, I want to pray. The spiritual life just fly. Then after, on, uh, on 13th of uh, July, I was here. Then on 20th, a week after, the enemy striked. On Saturday, my wife started complaining about dizziness. She started complaining. And suddenly, started complaining about so many things. I, I, I said, how come? Then on Sunday, we managed, we went to church. The way we came to church, we came back from church. She said she wanted to have rest. She now went to bed. For the, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes after, she now came back and said she wanted to greet all her siblings. I said, ah, what is the meaning of this? All of a sudden, all of a sudden, she now went back again. After like 10 minutes again, the baby was crying inside the bed. I said, ah. Then I, I was watching Champion TV. I said, but the mother is there. Let the mother take care of the baby. After that, I didn't hear. The baby was crying seriously. Then I rushed into the living room. I met my wife in coma. Then I started praying and praying and praying and praying. She gave up. Ah, the Spirit told me to call people that this is what happened. I said, I cannot call anybody. I started praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. Immediately, I remembered my miracle water. I went and took it. Before I could get there, she has given up. Then I touched her body. I was not encouraged to do anything again. I touched her body. She has been stiff. Nothing, you know. I was like, let me call people. I said, no, I cannot call anybody. And as I now developed faith in that miracle water. I started ministering on her, calling her to come back to life. Calling her to come back to life. And after some minutes, she now sneezed. Hey! Hey! Sometimes she not sleeps back. Can somebody shout fire? Yeah, Can somebody shout fire? Yeah, so, and when she came back, she said, Daddy, what is happening? Why am I here? I said, How can I be asking why? You say that, okay, she's coming from somewhere. She met a lot of people that are dead, that she was communicating with them. She now went, No. Is she your wife, the person beside you? My sister, why are you crying? I don't even know how to express my joy because I don't just know how to thank God. Can you join this family and just thank God? My name is Ifai Ibn I, I want to give God glory for what God has been doing for my life. A uh, few years ago, I've been experiencing delays. And uh, one day, my sister called me that, have you seen a, a church called uh, Champion Reassembly? I said, no. He said, I should, I should come to the church early this year. So I came. I saw, I saw many miracles, wonders. I said, okay, I must partake in this blessing. I... I went back. I decided to, to come and see daddy because where I was working, I was expressing delays and everything, confirmation and everything. I, I, I came for deliverance. I bought a miracle water. Uh, Papa saw me and said, I, I see celebration in your life. I see many people dancing with you. I say amen. I, 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 I claimed it. Sometime last week, I, sometime last month, I used the miracle water and I sprayed in my room and everything, all of a sudden I, I went to, uh, behind my house and I saw a cat, a dead cat.
Praise the Lord. I said, I said, God of champions. You spread the miracle water in your house. All over your house. Yes, I sprayed all over my room. And you went outside. I went outside to go and uh, lock my generator just behind my house. And I saw a, a dead cat. I said, what was this? I, 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 I touched the cat with a stick. It wanted to run away. And I used the uh, stone and ki- you know, killed it more. After like one month later, I opened my mailbox. The miracle water is the best sanitizer you can use. Praise the Lord. Sometime last week, I, I opened my mailbox and I saw my letter of confirmation. I said, God has done it for me again. Praise the Lord. Champion, shout fire. fire. Shout fire. fire. I am here to return all the glory to God today for what God did in my life uh, three Sundays ago. We came in here with my wife. We booked for deliverance. And uh, God located my wife at the Sunday service. And on Monday, God located me. He won't go anywhere. What do you mean by he won't go anywhere? He won't go anywhere. Where will he go? Where will he go? So what have you done to him? He will not go anywhere. He will not go anywhere. Yes. Why is it that you don't want him? What have you done to him? I what have I told you he's going nowhere. Don't you see him? Don't you see him? Tell me what you have done to him. I have made him not to be able to be responsible. You have made him not to be responsible. In yes. what area? Even when money comes into his hand, he won't see the money. He will say he put the money in the account. But the money is not there. If he goes there to withdraw the money, I took it from him. He will not do anything with it. Even they, they just free him. Oh, they say he should go and start his own ministry. But the money they gave him, his ogre, the general officer, gave him 100,000. But I finished it. Even now, his student cannot go to school. So, what have you done to his calling and ministry? I just made him to be a workaholic. He will never make any progress. People will see the anointing, but the anointing cannot benefit him. Now, this is a man of God, a pastor. But he himself, he will never make it. Who make it in his family? Who? Even, 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 even get a car without our notice. He did not come to take permission. He, uh, he got a car. car. Yes. Without your permission. Yes. Without your notice. He's supposed to. We're supposed to permit him. We, we are supposed to permit him. Yes. Okay, how do you stay? How did you enter this body? Wait, wait, me... How did you enter the body? I put fire in that shoe. How did you enter the body? His father gave him to us. Speak louder. His father gave him to us. What is the covenant? His father said we should protect him. If he comes back, he's going to serve us. Speak louder. He refused to come back. He left. Long time ago, we've been waiting for him. He refused to return. We killed his father. You killed his father? Yes, ask him. His father loved him. They are 27, but he is the only beloved of his father. We knew that if his father... There are 27 in the family. Yes. His father married many wives. Many wives. Yes. His father loved him so much. If we did not kill his father, we know that we cannot torture him. That is why we killed his father. We only send a dog. A dog just bites his father. And a dog yes. bites his father. Yes. Physically or spiritually? Physically. And that was all? Yes. To kill somebody is not a problem. To kill somebody is not a problem for you people. Okay. When this pastor pray, where do you stay? We don't go with him to church. You don't go with him to church? He can go and do whatever I want to do. But so, we will not allow him to be blessed. Come, you don't follow him to church. What do we go there to do? We don't have business with that place. So, when do you enter him back? We'll make his wife to provoke him. you make his wife to provoke him? Yes. So, when the wife provoke him, what happens? we we'll take over his temper. you take over his temper? Yes. Then what happened next? we we'll scatter 
scatter everything. Then you scatter everything. Yes. How long have you been in this body or mm. been going and coming out? How long? It's a long time ago. What is long time? Tell me how long. Very long. Eh? Very long when he was but a child. Since he was a child. Yes. What else have you done to him? I finished their money. You finished their money. Even his wife don't know. Okay. Woman, call your husband. Obin. Speak louder. Obin. Your wife is calling. Who's Obin. Go and sit down. Speak louder. Obin. Go and sit down. It's me, your wife. Hmm. Obin. Is that the love name you call each other? Yes, my heart. Obim. My heart. My heart, okay. Cork, are you, are you not Obim. calling? Obim. Obim. Go and what sit is it? down. She, her wife is touching. Touch, touch again. Obim. Obim. She's talking to you. He doesn't have a wife. Eh? No wife. No, look at his wife. Obin. She's not. Not what? A wife. Call it again. Obin. Obin, it's me. A wicked of a gun. Stop. Man, come. Obin. You are afraid of your husband now. In the year, the, the woman they say, Obim, 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 oh. <laughs> when your wife becomes afraid, she has never seen her husband in this fashion now. Huh? Obim, you see the distance. <laughs> so he is even saying that he's going to start tomorrow. What will he start? What do you plan to do to the work? <laughs> when somebody has no money, can he do anything? Ask his wife. If he has no money, he will be paralyzed. That is what we, do, we have been doing. And now that he doesn't have money tomorrow, he will not even have the energy to stand and talk to the people. Because Tell me, how long did he serve the other ministry? For five years. Five years. But although he has been working on that ministry. In other ministry. Yes. He has served for 15 years. He was telling them God is going to help him. How can God help him when he belongs to us? He belongs to you people. Yes. How many of you are inside the body? Ah, not much. Not much. Tell me how yes. many of you? Power of his father's house. Speak louder. Power of his father's house. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come, I weaken your powers in that body. Talk to me, uh. yes. Mention your names. Always starting. He will never finish. I say, how many of you are inside that body? Fire! How many of you? He, he cannot go. He cannot go. Today he's going to go now. Yeah, yeah. He cannot go. Fire in those shoes. I put fire in those shoes. I put fire. Fire. Command of fire of God to enter those shoes. Fire everywhere. Fire everywhere. Fire. Where do you stay? We stay in. Speak louder. In New Nyanya. New Nyanya. Which ministry did he work before? Christ Anointed Kingdom Church. Where is the church located? On those states. Where in Ol Akure. Where? At Akure. Do you know the address? Yes, sir. Hey, tell us the address. Number one avenue. Okay, Agula. Christ Anointed. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Where do you people live now? We, need, we live in New Nyanya. Okay, New Nyanya. Yes, sir. We just packed in recently. Okay. You know, there are a lot of Thomas. So we do this. So that they can verify. <laughs> okay. Pack your load. Leave the body now. Free. That's all.
How are you? Put the mic. How are you? Call your husband again. Obim. Obim. Oh. How are you? Put the mic. I'm Do you fine. know what you have been saying here? No, sir. Do you know how you got to the floor? No, I told you I want to meet with you. You say I will see you. That's what you can remember. You say this is not your wife, that you don't have a wife. Obim. Go and sit down. It's me, your wife. Hmm. Obim. She's my wife. How old is this marriage? This marriage is uh, nine years now. Nine years? Yes, sir. But you just deny her. She called you Obim. Is that your love name you call yourself? Yeah. Obim. Yes. What's the meaning of Obim? My heart. My heart. Yes. What's that, which language is that? Igbo. Yes. Sir. Okay, Obim. Obim. Through the servant of God in this house. And the man of God told me a lot of things. After we left here, we went home and... Somebody told us something. We came to New Nyanya to start up a fresh work. And they told us that uh, nobody can get a place there. We have to go to the primary school or to the nursery school. But me and my wife, we said we are not starting the work God sent us to do in a primary school or in the nursery school. If God is sending us here, then there is a place for us here. And I think the following day, I was just strolling and we saw a place. We enter there, me and uh, my Ketika, and the man says that the place he don't want to give it out to anybody, but he cannot resist me, he cannot say no to me. That he will give the place to me. Now, was that after contacting the oracle of the house? Yeah, yeah after the deliverance. After deliverance, that is when this thing happened. And not just the place, we got the place for worship, and at the same time, a free office was given to me. For us to use. Hallelujah. I like you to appreciate God with me because I know what I am saying. When you go out there to look for a place, you will see the frustration. But not when God has gone ahead of you. My name is Prince Ayo. Uh, what really brought me out here is just to give the glory to the Almighty. In the past four years, I have not been to a gathering like this called church. And I told my wife I was no longer uh, interested in going to anywhere called church. She said, what will you serve? I said, I know my cradle. At home, I will be serving him. She said, it is not enough. You have to be going to church. I said, my word is my word. She now said, okay. Do you have any other thing in this house that you are hiding from me? I said, the house is, is ours. Search everywhere. If you see anything, come back to me. Then she said, okay. She introduced me to um, CTV and ETV. Uh, sorry, uh, CTV and ETV, yes. Then, Emmanuel Television and uh, Champion Television. There, I do sit at home every Sunday and be watching and following the, the teaching of the two prophets. Then, on 17th of this month, being last Sunday, I woke up very early in the morning. She said, oh, Daddy, what happened? I said, I'm going to church. Say, church? Are you following this testimony? Are you sure you are following this testimony? For four good years. Then, what really motivated me is I watched the prophet here when he was teaching on crossing the line. Celebrate this God for me. Celebrate this God. 
And I knew that day I crossed the line from death to life. Then another one was not my blood. And that is what that brought me out to. In case you don't know, these are teachings, preachings from the set man, the man of God in this house. They were strong, they are strong teachings. If you have not listened to crossing the lines or not my blood, please get it and listen to it. You will just see that there is no way you can say you won't serve this God. Not my blood brought me out here today. Last Sunday, as I was here, though the prophet was not around. His powers remained. He only traveled with a part of it. 50% went with him, 50% remained. And when I came, I was one of the beneficiaries of the 50% of the powers that remained. Then I got back home that Sunday. On Monday, I had to go back to my station. When I got to the office, my superior told me, Boy, Shea, you remember we have a meeting in Abuja today? I said, yes, but I'm just coming back from Abuja. He said, we have a meeting, we have to go back. I said, okay. He now asked me, are we going with your car or with my car? I said, oh, you be your car now, let us go with your car. So, uh, he brought out the car. Uh, he was there, I, he was expecting me to come in. I told him no. You, you are older than me in age. You cannot be driving me from here to Abuja. So you come down, let me drive. So he came down and I stepped into the steering. That Monday morning, it was raining heavily. Then we connected um, Kaduna Abuja Road. As we were coming from Guraka area, the rain was very, very intensive. Though he had a good wiper and my vision was very okay. We continue coming. We are approaching the Zuma Rock. As we were coming, all I noticed was that the steering lost control. And really, on very, very usual, unlike me, I do not spit during rain. But that day, I don't know what came over me. Not my blood. So as we were coming, the vehicle lost control. I announced... Con, uh, you know, I was concentrating, going. Um, the, 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 the car was swerving to the right. You know, I was trying to control the steering to get to the road, but it could not. Rather, it took us off the road and ran into the bush. Instead of the vehicle to continue going straight to the bush, it's like, you know, somebody was just there commanding the vehicle, stop, and the vehicle stopped. And then tell the vehicle, turn. And the vehicle turn and face the road instead of going inside the bush. Over there, I, he, now, he tapped on me, said, Prince, are you okay? I said, not my blood. Somebody shouts, fire! Not your blood! That is the weapon I am getting from this place. Not my blood. So I... I accelerated the car. The car moved. I drove to the road. We continue. Can you appreciate God for this testimony? Glory to Dieu. Alors notre frère a témoigné de ce que celebrate Jesus. Shout hallelujah. In two years, I have been having this terrible accident for three times. Last year, March. I was traveling home. My car, a Highlander Jeep, somersaulted with three other people inside me. The car got condemned, but three of us came out on hot. Then this year, also April, I was coming back. I had a problem. The ball joint pulled off from the car too, and the tire got separated on speed at a Jule in Kogi State here. I and my wife and my nephew inside, the Almighty saved our life. And, and this last one. So I have a cause to give glory to the Almighty. 
Alléluia. Et il a vu de ce qu'il avait deux ans, il avait eu des, des, des problèmes de voiture, il conduisait, il y a eu même des tombeaux, des tourneaux. Mais Dieu merci, lui, son fils et sa femme, rien ne leur est arrivé. Effectivement, l'accident ne peut pas arracher sa vie. Il est venu donner la gloire à Dieu pour tout ce qu'il a fait pour lui et sa famille. Hallelujah. I came here for the five weeks of um, minister's importation in the month of March. On that day, I went home, came back the next day for my deliverance. And that early morning, they began to call me in the house that something was happening. They were digging out things. They were seeing things. Things they planted for themselves. They were digging out charms, all manner. Hallelujah. I was here. I was in champion. I was here. Hallelujah. So if you are here, relax. 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 Now, secondly, after my deliverance... Why? Why do you want to deliver? So what have you done to her? This one. I have stopped all the men. Lift up your head. You have done what? No marriage. This Speak one. louder. This one can no marry. Why? Ah. This one marry, she will help everybody who... I don't want her mother to have grandchildren at all. The elder sister married though. Ha! Eleven years, no child. The twelfth year, the husband died. The elder brother is a reverend brother, that one too. This stupid girl will deliver everybody. Anything I collect, she will come and collect oh, and give it to them. She can deliver, but she cannot deliver herself. If she start deliverance here, Everyone, everyone will just all so, the will scatter. What do you do to the men that come to her life? Ah, I give her a strange face. Oh. Okay, she is a pastor. Yes, ah, this one is fire. Oh. How did you not enter the body of this pastor, Mrs.? Ah, a foundation. A oh. eh? foundation. Explain a foundation for me. You ask the father to marry me. Eh? The father married me now. The father married you. Uh -huh. And so who is you? Explain yourself. I'm a stepmother. You are the stepmother. Yes. And so what have you done and caused in the family? Ah, oh, you see something? This man, this man, this this man there, this man there. Which one? Which one? This man in the top now. My master. Ah. Eh? You know him now. Ah. This man. Why are you calling him man? Why don't you call his name? Ah. The honor. What is the owner? He selected wonderful children and gave the mother. Okay. She's the only one. This one here will pray for money tonight. We try to kill her. No way. Put poison in give her or she will eat and still remain. This one refused to die. Mm. Very stubborn. If you want to deliver somebody, she can die because of that person. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. This... So we disconnect all the pastors she's been meeting. Come and be my spiritual father. Ah. We put the wrong pastors. You put the wrong pastors. Um, Explain what you mean by the wrong pastors. Ah, uh, he said that they want to sleep with her. She will run. Hey. Oh, they will give this stupid girl. I don't know whether the owner opened the whole prayer and put Bible there. Oh. If eh? she open Bible for you, mm. she can preach. If she open Bible without thinking twice, if she preach here. Yeah. But we okay, tell to me give. something. No mentor, no mentor. No tell mentor. me something. What? Where do you stay when she is praying? Ah, this one. Even now, you have to call me to go. Ah, I say, where do you stay when she is praying? That's the question. I you, used to go out now. I used to run you, away. You run away. This stupid guy drove me from the house. Eh? She drove me from the house. So you stay, you on that side. Where will we are staying before is a family compound. Stupid guy came and rest ministry in the house every day. Fire, 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 fire. We are, we are doing meetings, she rests all down. Now all of us are in trouble. So we refuse to allow her. We are driving our members away. You are driving our members away? Yes, but she refuses how, to give How do you drive our members away? Explain. Ah, we'll make her to be angry. You make them? We'll make her to be angry. You make and her to be angry? Yes. Any small thing she says, they will misunderstand her and they will run. 
Mm. We make people to misunderstand her, and they will run. Very good heart, but nobody pays her well. What else do you use to choose the member apart from an an ender? Ah, we connect with the members now. You connect with the members. They we are giving her food to eat. Poison, stupid girl, she refuses to die. They were giving her food uh -huh. as gift. They will cook for her. She will eat. She will eat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And she, you, she refused to die. Even last month, we wanted to kill her. This girl bled, bled, bled. She could not pray. Five days. But useless girl will be praying in her mind. She will be praying all oh, in her mind. She will say, God, I will not die. I have an assignment. If so, I die now, people will suffer. Mm, so, how many of you are inside the body? Let me tell you the unannouncing four stupid angels. Okay. They came and they were guiding her. We couldn't do anything. They were guiding her. Hey, how does the angels look like? Ah, those ones now. Which one are those ones? The first ones now that fought will against Lucifer. Those ones. Those ones. Eh? That fought against. Ah, those ones. Ah, ah. You see, you know them now. Why are you asking questions? They are battle angels, isn't it? Yes. This one is a warrior. Okay. The name of our ministry. Did you call them warriors? Are risen. Mm. Stupid girl. She doesn't know any name. Why are you calling her stupid girl? She's That's troubling the us now. She's troubling us. Okay. Any destiny I carry, she will come and collect from my hand. This girl will deliver everybody. What is wrong with her? When she is praying for people doing deliverance, where do you stay? Ah, uh, I will run away. Oh. You run away. I will run. How do you use to gain a trance? What does she do that gives you opportunity to enter her? I get her angry. You get her angry. You get her angry. One stupid thing about this girl, eh? She doesn't keep anybody in mind. Stupid girl! She will not keep anybody in mind, though. But she will be angry. She will tell you her mind. That is all. Instead of her to hold her in mind. So, so she will be angry. She okay, will not If she hold her in mind, what will happen? Ah, we will hold it against her and I will kill her. We we'll kill her. Hmm. See? Okay? Stupid relationship. 15 years. We carry the strange woman. We get the man, oh. The man now did traditional marriage with a demon. With a demon. And I told her, the one I told her, oh, that that is her husband. She has been waiting. Ah, but we, we remove his eyes from her face. Okay, ah. okay, now. How do you chase the man that's supposed to marry her? We we'll give her a strange face now. Strange face? What do you mean by strange face? When they come, they will see me there. They will run. They will see you there. The same mother now. The same mother. So you make her look old. Not only all though. Okay, like what? You know I'm a demon. So okay. they will see a, a strange person, they will run away. After they are married, they will remember that she's a good person. But that time it will be too late. Mm -hmm. They cannot come back. If they go, she will say no. For nigga must blood that is a stupid girl. Who wants that to even marry a second person? She'll say, God forbid, God forbid. My mother is a second wife. I will not be a follow second wife. This is a polygamous. Useless girl. Very wise. Useless girl. She is very wise. Hey. Come this way, she understand. Come this way, she understand. Stupid girl. So, so how many of you are inside the body? Ah, the father, the mother's house. There is. A how many house. of you? That's what I ask you. Ah, many. Oh. There are many. Uh huh. In the body of a pastor. The mother's wife, the mother's house, the father served masquerade before. Okay. This girl is fighting them also. So okay. we do. We are fighting. I'm fighting. And I, uh, the same mother, and I'm the one talking now. You are the one talking. Uh -huh. We not get my spiritual. Okay, husband. look here. Do you try to prevent her from coming? Ah, here? I stop the car. Uh huh? The transport. I stop you said, her from coming. what? The money she is saving to go and buy land for her ministry. She had to go and withdraw money there. Her sister gave her money. Ah, this stupid girl. We stop the car for two hours on the road. You stop the car. So that she get angry and go back. She said, I must go there. Who? Stupid girl. Yes, why, why did you stop the car? Why, what is in this place that you don't want her to come here? This girl says she must be delivered. Now? This place is fire now? Uh -huh. Ah! Why are you talking like this now? This place is fire. Uh -huh. I said this place. Okay. And the girl believes in you. Oh. He said if I come here, he will deliver me. He will deliver me. We don't want her to come. You don't want her to come. Ah, she doesn't trust men of God like that though, because they are failed her. Even she's walking, looking for a spiritual mentor. She said, if I come here, this man will be my mentor. The man knows why, but he's teaching the truth. Useless girl. We said she should not come. She said she must come. Ah! Fire over your head. Fire everywhere. Fire. 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 
I'm in charge here. When I ask question, you answer. You don't ask me question. Fire all over your head. Fire on your head. Fire on the leg. Fire on the mouth. Fire everywhere. Fire. Fire. If I go now, this girl will marry you. Her ministry will grow. Who knows her? Who knows her? Who knows her? Be delivered. Now this girl, they pray for them. Useless girl, she will pray. Last year, we want to kill the brother. She came and said, Ah, my brother will not die. Even die, though. She met him in the spirit room and said, Come back. Where are you going? I will not bury you. I just buried my husband. If I bury him, they will not me. So be careful. You, you know her? Yes, sir. Put the mic on her mouth. You said? You know her? Yes, sir. She's my pastor. She's your pastor. Yes, sir. Your pastor. Yes, sir. You know her very well. I know her. Where is your church located? In High and Banky. Kaduna, Kaduna, Kao, High and Banky. How, I am can you give us the address of the place? Yes, sir. Say the address. Where is the place? Describe the place. Okay. If you drop at First Bank, yes. you take a bike, you ask them to carry you to New, New Nigeria. Uh -huh. Then they, before New Nigeria, you drop. If you ask, they will show you the place. What is the name of the ministry? The Spirit Sword Prophetic International Ministry. Spirit World Prophetic. Sword. 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 Yes, sir. Okay. Can you confirm what your pastor is saying? Yes, sir. It's true, sir. It's true. Yes, sir. Can you confirm? Yes, sir. And uh, uh, the church people are going the same thing. You sir? Are people living the church too? Yes, sir. People are living. Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Give Jesus a clamp of it. Now, it is time you came out. You will pack your load and leave this body. You will pack your load and leave this body. Fire over your head. Fire over your head. Fire everywhere. Out of her in Jesus' name. I release you to go and marry. I went home. Now, when the Lord asked me to start up a ministry, I, I was given a particular place, and that particular place happened to be the covenant of witches and wizards. That is where they do meeting. Sorry, I am, on, I am Fet Jessilia Zaka from Kaduna. Now, when we started, all manner of cats will be coming. We will have to be doing choir with cats. We will have to bind them first. If I invite the minister to come and minister, sometimes I will tell him, please, man of God, stay. Let me handle this. We will have to deal with witches first. But after I came here, collected the miracle water, registered for other people so that I could get two extra. I went home and, and ministered it throughout the house, throughout the ministry. When they came, the cats fought themselves, bought themselves, and then left. And they left. Hallelujah. Now, secondly, the ministry receives a turnaround. People that doubted me before believe me now. Secondly, when I, I come out for Champions Television um, Partners, I didn't have the source, oh. but when, what I came out for, I can pay for two next months after that. God has been just faithful financially. I am expanded, ministry stabilized. But this last one, please. My younger brother, without a written application, they came to the house after that deliverance and gave him letter to resume as a lecturer with the federal government. Oh. No application, no. Oh. Then we are looking for him. If you are here, join me to celebrate. My name is Jerry. I'm from Kaduna. If you usually watch your Champion Royal Assembly TV this week, you will see a lady there that normally say, I did not know when I was pregnant. I did not know when I was pregnant. She was just continually saying it because she did not know. She's my wife. I call her my twin sister. Praise the Lord. It all happened when we got married. And a prophet said, there is a woman that went to Ijebo Day to go and make a charm and bring it as a presentation to in our wedding day. 
It was a talk of fear and a war. And we usually watch our daddy in the house. I call it my senior brother. In the person of our prophet in the house, Brother Joshua Aguila. And uh, it all happened that at the end of it all, the thing happened, she missed her period. And as God will have it, she was still seeing her period, not knowing she was pregnant. And we came, and daddy said, There is something inside you. As God will have it, she named the baby inside the womb, that your name will be called Deborah. And to the glory of God, today I have a baby girl. Her name is Deborah. Are you just sitting there watching like that? Amen. There was a, uh, sometime May this year. My wife was pregnant last year, and I started coming here around February this year. And she do tell me some dreams that were not comfortable to me. We pray, we always pray, but I do come Wednesday services and at times Sunday services. So I I brought her in one of these Wednesday services. And I told her, let's just believe God, that God, through the man of God, God can, do, can wipe away those uh, uh, evil dreams. And then, the delivery came. She was, I mean, the labor came. She was on labor, and the, it was the right time for her to deliver. And suddenly, the, the, the nurse came and told me that, something is going strange that the the road close i say road close i don't understand the road will open it was still on and they they to a point that they call a, the service of a consultant to come and check the consultant came and he said she would be booked for operation emergency operation and Something happened. They even asked me to buy the consumable, theater consumable, which I don't know. And then the doctor now, when he unveiled it to me, I told him, no, 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 no. I didn't see that. God didn't tell me that. He always revealed himself to me. And then he, they gave me two hours. I said, no. He, he now said, okay, two hours. After two hours, they will, they will yeah, operate her. And frankly speaking, she miraculously delivered safely. Praise God. Abuja here can narrate precisely. Then my wife got pregnant at the end of the day, the day of Atlanta and the and the sky is over. Before we know it, it is about ten months, getting to eleven months, and my wife was on my neck crying, saying a lot of things that this baby wants to suffer her with that because I I hear word of God I was like telling her that they will deliver the day of the Lord. She still pressing me, pressing me, and the, as God may have it, we're always on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the service. A day, a day, man of God, look at, look at us in our overflow, on, on overflow there. I say, Madam, come, come out. How many days, how many months is your pregnancy? My wife says, it's, good, it's getting to 11 months. Man of God, say, come. That is, is out of God calendar. And I was, I, I feel very happy. Because in that, in that times I don't have hope again. I have hope that the man of God here will say, uh, God will use to do something. As God may have it, man of God speak to my life, uh, deliver her. The day a woman, come, uh, the woman that come from Cardona give a birth in this ministry was the very day I wanted to pick my baby, physically and spiritually. 
because it's a day of uh, fruit of womb, which God, man of God, have settled with God that the baby day will be a baby boy. That is why my own did not come down because it's a baby girl. The wonder of it, my own came. I give God all the glory. Celebrate Jesus with him. Celebrate Jesus with him. An overdue pregnancy was meant to be delivered peacefully without any complication. Just by the declaration of the man of God. Yours will be the same today in Jesus' name. I am Prudence Arobani by name. I want to thank God for confirming the word of his servant and for performing the counsel of his messenger. Last year, my wife and myself, we came to see Papa because we were trusting God for you know, our second baby after the first one in 2011. And it was now forthcoming. So my wife came to see Papa in December last year. And Papa said, don't worry, the baby is coming. And as if he saw something, he said, no, the baby is already there. Uh, my wife told me she was to you know, see her menses that day, and the menses did not come. And that's how my wife became pregnant, and now she is eight months pregnant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Lord, bless your name. Miss Ngozi Gloria, I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my life and the life of my daughter. Actually, earlier this year, I brought my niece, who was married for four years, no issue. And after a few months, she took in. And then my daughter came in from where she's living with the husband for this kind of uh, uh, service. Operation carry your baby. And now she's carrying her baby. And I'm here to testify and give glory to all God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Lord, we bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Your word will be praised. We've come to worship you. We've come to exalt you, God. For who is like unto us? Praise the Lord. My name is Queen Amedu. Do the fruit of whom? So Papa said everybody should touch Matu. That very day, because I go hospital, they told me that I have a near and a fibroid. So I get the Matu, touch the Matu, because I know if I touch that Matu, everything will disappear. So when I touch the Matu, because they booked me for hospital, that day when I go to the hospital, they told me I should go and do scan before they will attend to me. When I go scan, they tell me, ah, madam, you are pregnant too, so not five blood again. After I do... I don't know if you are getting this very testimony. Somebody shout a better amen. amen. The reason why she want to touch or she touched the mountain was for the hyena and the five blood to disappear. She has closed the case of giving birth. She's no longer looking for babies. That is in her own case. So she came, she wants to touch, but daddy will specifically warn, don't touch. Don't touch. So she touched that day for a different purpose. Instead of the hyena and the five blood disappearing, they turned to five children. <laughs> Hello, praise the Lord. I'm Sister Joy in Niger. Last time I was having a very serious stomach pain. So I come to Papa to pray for me. He prayed. He said that my daughter go, that it is over. I said, okay, and I go. I pray over it. Last time when he was praying for the fruits of womb, I just enemy joined them and pray. 
Then after praying, I just saw myself that I'm praying glad. People of wonders, champion, champion, shout fire. Yes, truly the fire is here. I came to this commission, sorry, my name is uh, Uchawa Judezi. I came to this commission last year. And what brought me here was the uh, fruit of the womb. I've been married for 11 years, nothing. You've been married for 11 years. 11 years of marriage, no baby. So, it was my husband that actually discovered this place. So when he came, he said, eh, I've discovered a new church. Oh, get ready. On Sunday, we are going to that church. I said, no, I can't change my church. That is too much. We've been going from one church to the other because of this problem. That this one, I won't go again. He said, you don't have yourself now. You don't own yourself, rather. I own you, so you will follow me. So that Sunday, I followed him to this place. When I came to this place, what actually captured me was the word. I said, okay, I'll start coming. So after that, the uh, papa announced a uh, call for people that uh, want the fruit of the womb. That was last year. I came out and actually I got pregnant, but I missed it. So before this time, I'll see papa in my dream, but he won't say anything. Sometimes he will just be laughing at me. So I discovered something. I remembered something. And now started sowing. It's a secret. So I started sowing. Just like Elijah and the woman. One day I dreamt. That was uh, January this year. I dreamt. And he asked me, My daughter, what do you want God to do for you? I said, Papa, I don't have children. No. He said, How can you say that? A daughter of Zion like you? Look at children all over you. Go, it is settled. That was January this year. And I left. February, my husband said uh, he wants to treat me. We went to three countries, different countries. And as at this time, I didn't know I was pregnant. So we started traveling from France to Germany to Holland and back just like that. So when I came back, I discovered changes in my face. I was having pimples and uh, eczema all over. So... <laughs> I now went to my, where I normally take treatments, and they, they checked me and they said, uh, Madam, you're pregnant. After 11 years! After 11 years! After 11 years! You are just sitting there looking like that! Ah! Please hold on, hold on, hold on, she has not landed. Will say, let me shock you. I have a, I had medical reports. One, because I've done IVF trials. I did the first one, it was successful, but the baby died somehow. I did the second one, it was not success, uh, it was a failure. So the third one, they said we should go to the highest in Nigeria. We wanted to go abroad, but they said there's one in Nigeria that is the highest. And when I was paying this money, I was crying. No, I was weeping. You know why? Because they said they can't use my 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 ovaries because uh, I have uh, I had uh, polycystic uh, ovarian cyst, and again that I have um, uh, that I did uh, my own mectomy. So because of that, that even if they transfer the eggs, that it would be one. That if it's more than one that they will, they will remove the other ones. Oh God. And I was crying. And the doctor was saying, eh, you Nigerians, you like eh, buying one and getting one free. My God. And I cried. I wept. I paid that money. And behold, it was a failure. So why, I'm, why I told you that I went to all these countries is because when they do this IVF, you won't move, oh. you just lie on your bed, you won't move. 
But while we were going from one country to the other, I was running, not knowing that the one that God has given me is Can somebody celebrate Jesus? The evidence is sure. The evidence, the evidence. Nothing, nothing, nothing can move it because it's from above. Show the evidence. Let the whole world see. Evidence is the end of every argument. You can all see that she's pregnant. Can you celebrate Jesus? Can you give God praise? This testimony is not the one we can just look like that. Face the church. How many of you remember? I, you didn't talk. I gave you two mantles. Where, where is your husband? Yes. Where is he? Tell him to come. Pastor Pamu is on Mary. Wow. Zabada Yakata. Poor relationship on Mary. Look here. You know a man of God by his audacity and his accuracy and his character. If I be a true man of God, he has audace and he says what God wants. And if I be a man of God, Talo da bire, talo da bire. Inu boko ala ba ala i, talo da bire. Oh ya, talo da bire. Hello, Daddy, Hello, If I be a true man of God. As I was ministering now, the Lord said, Take two of the mantle. You Let them get contact you with the sweat of the gospel. I was not farming when the sweat came, I was preaching the gospel. And I'm giving two of you this mantle. It's not for money because money has come. C'est pas pour de l'argent. It is for a male and a female child. C'est pour deux enfants, un garçon et une fille pour vous. Saluda pire. Saluda pire. Minuto de You 
you are the pillar that holds my love. Yes, Lord. You are the pillar that holds my love. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds. Stand up, my sister. There is a grace. Emini makoko jeri sagbara oluwa. Emini makoko jeri sagbara oluwa. Emini makoko jeri sagbara oluwa. Emini makoko jeri You know, the first Yoruba song says, Who is like you, Lord? Among all the powerful people in the whole world, there is none like you. Then the second Yoruba song says, I will be the first person that will testify to the power of God. Are you going to be the first person? Yes. Come. You will not come back from that four years without children. Amen. I didn't say child. I said children. Amen. Oh. Even though you don't say amen, it is settled. Amen. Put it on your stomach. In the mighty of Jesus, a fresh unction. Take it. It is settled. In the mighty of Jesus. In the mighty of Jesus. In the mighty of Jesus. It is settled. In Jesus' name. This mantle, it is to keep as a covenant that the Lord spoke to you today, that his word will not drop to the ground, so that the day you will come with your children to testify, you will wave the mantle. It's not just to clean your face, it's a token that God's word will not drop to the ground. Amen. Give Jesus a clap of him. Do you remember her? Uh -huh. And I say, if I be a man of God. Do you remember? Do you remember? For how many years now? Eleven. Eleven years. Eleven years. The last one, how much did you pay? Oh, I can't remember, but some millions. Some millions. And you are coming here, God is not going to collect a time. And look at what she said. When she do the ideas, she lie down. You don't move. Don't move. Even to take my bath, 
In short, that day they will do the transfer. You won't move. You just lie down. And if you want to turn to the other side, you will do it gently. But look at what God has done. Are you sitting down just watching this kind of testimony? Can you celebrate God? Can you celebrate this God? Celebrate this God. This is too much. This is too much. We will leave the we will leave the other big part of the testimony for the deal day. Let's give Jesus a clap of rain. Sister Gladys Ofulwe from Mopo Barak. Before this baby, I have had a series of miscarriages. The first one was through CS, six months pregnancy. Before I knew it, it would start coming like as in water. I would start drilling water every six months for two pregnancies. So the second one, the same six months, through CS, before a friend of mine introduced me to this champion. That same month, I got pregnant. That was how I got this champion baby. I don't know if you understand what she said. She lost two babies. Six months pregnancy, they would just go down that way through CS. But immediately somebody introduced her to champion. That same month, she became pregnant. And God saw her through that now she is alive, her baby is alive. After nine months. Celebrate Jesus. Actually, I testified before, but I left a very peculiar part of the testimony. It all started when I was in the service with my husband, in this kind of uh, fruit of the womb service. I was sitting in the overflow too. So I was not even ready to take in at that time because my baby was not up to a year. She was like eight months. So I, Papa already warned that if you are not ready, you should not even receive on the air, children are there. So she should not receive any baby. I told um, my own, I just fold my hands. I was saying amen, but I did not raise any hand. So my husband now said, amen. And we, <laughs> with that hand, I said amen. He, he touched my tummy with it. I pushed away his hand, but already the hand touched my tummy. And on that particular Sunday, I was on. So when I went, I did not see blood again. I thought the thing just ended naturally. So I, after one month, my husband asked me, that, ah, this your tummy is big old. Uh, I didn't even see you doing your messes. I said, um, I remembered that the moon is ending, man. I've not seen anything. I've not seen anything yet. But I remembered you touched my tummy in the church, in the fruit of the womb service. And I said, okay, let us go for the test. When we went for the test, the test confirmed I was pregnant. And this is the baby. This is the baby? Yeah. My name is Brother Emmanuel Okoro. Uh, please permit me to say there is a grace in this house that is corrosive as cities, colazados, and its contagions. 
Praise the Lord. I actually came in here. I have another brother. The wife has been buried for 12 years. And, uh, you know, uh, I have been touched. I was like, ah, God, what is happening? So, because of where she worship, you know, she finds it difficult to come in here. But I came to represent her. So, when I came in, you know, that was December last year. And I could remember vividly where Papa said, if you know you are not looking for the fruit of the womb, you shouldn't come out. So I was like, I said, but well, my wife own uh, is not even serious. It is this my elder brother's own, but let me stand for her. So I came here, carried her picture. Then that December... You stood for your elder brother's wife, yes. who has been buried for how many years? 12 years, 12 years. Then after that, I, that same December, when I left here, I traveled... January, my wife missed her period. I don't want to have baby now. I have two boys already. I don't want to have baby. Then in the month of February, when Papa wants to, uh, he said he, he wants to bless in the fruit of womb. And I come. I say I have stomach stomach pain. Let me come and receive that mantle. I don't know the mantle is magleto. Then when I come to, <laughs> I say. This is my stomach pain because I've gone to test. They say I'm not pregnant. I say, Talk. maybe it's another sickness. Let me just touch the mantle so that my, I will be here. When I touch the mantle, I find myself pregnant. Well, I, I don't know what we are going to do. Uh, so many women coming for a different issue and a different happening to them. Someone shout a better amen. The instruction is that the mountain is for babies. It's not for healing. So if you want healing, come specifically for healing. And that's the pro complaint women are bringing in now. They came for different things and they are carrying baby. But who do you blame? Daddy won everybody. So nobody to blame. Celebrate Jesus. Mrs. Esther Amai. Actually, what brought me here? I came out all the way from Zaria. Papa came to Zaria, GMI Church, to preach. So when he now left, now I now said I was going to trace this man of God and come here. So I came to Abuja. So while passing through Charles Duse, I saw his poster. I came down. I now looked at Jaja. Then I told the bike man, "Take me to this church." That's how we traced this church here. But when we came, there was no service there. I met somebody who told me that I should come for deliverance. So when I now came now, I now met Papa. What actually brought me here was that I was in a relationship for 10 years. No moving forward, no moving backward. We fixed wedding twice. Wedding car itself was out. By the end of the day, you see that I'm discouraged or the guy is discouraged. So that was what brought me here. So Papa now told me and prayed for me. He gave me anointing uh, uh, oil, prayed on it and said... I should go and fix my wedding date. Anybody holding me back that I should wait and see the result. So when I now went, I now told my fiancé that let's fix this wedding date. So he now said, eh. Then I now said, okay. When he left for work, I used the anointing oil. I anointed his clothes and his cupboard. So every time he kept calling me, pestering me about the wedding stuff. That's how we got married. So I now left. I came down now to say, okay, let me come and give the testimony in the church. So when Papa now saw me there, he now said, carry your baby. Carry your baby. Carry your baby. That's four months after the wedding. That very month, I got pregnant. And this is the result of the prayers. This is the result of the prayers. Can somebody celebrate Jesus? You are going to carry your baby today in the name of Jesus. Praise God.
God. I am Mrs. Oyebode. I've been believing God for the fruits of the womb for five years. But when I came for the service of fruits of the womb in June, and now I discover I'm pregnant. Why I didn't want to come out was because I wanted my pregnancy to come out very well so that everybody will see. That was why I didn't come. I give God all the glory. After five years, now she's pregnant. Two months pregnant. I would like to appreciate the name of the Lord for what God has done in my life and also for the salvation of my soul. Secondly, I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for the success of my marriage. I got married April 4th at uh, Lagos. So when I came down to Abuja here, although so many people discouraged me about this ministry, so when Papa called for this altar call, so I was like, let me test this man. Maybe he's a truly man of God. I was not ready for the pregnancy. So I told my husband that if I come here, I want to at least do as in walk around with him and go anywhere with him. So when I came out, he prayed and touched me. He touched my tummy and said, I'm free. So well, it was not last month when he came to us at Overflow 2. I was sitting with my husband. He said... Madam, I look at his face. Uh, am I the madam? So he said, a male child is on the way. So I look at my husband's face. I said, ah, I'm not expecting this. But I want to appreciate the name of the Lord that I did not go through this barrenness of a thing. I did my wedding happy and now I'm two months pregnant. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. That's your name. We worship you, Jesus. My name is Mrs. Joy Ruben Oshogu. I came, I, I married last two years. I have Mrs. Courage. Since then, I don't have Bele again. After that one, Papa prayed for me last year. I can't get Bele. I can't get Bele. I tell my husband, say, I don't see my menstruation. May we go to hospital, may I do scan, may I do test. My husband said, wait now. I said, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, go wait. I know if you wait too. May we cook my go, may I see what the man of God do for me. Now he said, okay, may we go now. As we go to hospital, I can't do test. Now he said, the result. Shout fire. The result, can't tell my husband, say, I get two months belly. I can't tell my husband, I say, see what they tell you. May we go man, meet man of God. May man of God pray for me again. May this Beleno come out again. I say, I can't tell her, now we come. Papa pray for me. He say, go, you go come testify your baby. I this is the evidence. Here is the baby. So this, this anointing does not have any, it does not discriminate whoever you are. Once you are connected, you will receive your baby. Shout fire! That day where I want to bond this girl, my, my husband said, me will come, come meet Papa on Saturday, last two months. I say, ah, the scan he give me on 12. You say on 7, me will go meet Papa. He say, yes. So I say, mm, me will go now. Now we walk up on yet. No anything. I know, I know, pay any pay for household. As we call me, Papa, Papa, come ask me, say, since three days, my baby no work out for my belly. I say, uh, as I did, I don't know. I can't tell, I say, I don't know whether you work out, I don't work out, I don't know. I don't feel anything. Now, I can't tell my Papa, say, on five, my, my father call my husband, say, may bring money. Say, this belly, I go die with this baby. I say only goes fire. The church where they go now, royal champion assembly. God no peace. Shall fire. I say God, as in I you 
give me this belly. I can't go, Baba. Now I'll go die before I go born this girl. Now so I come meet Papa on seven. On seven, where I meet Papa, Papa pray for me. Say go, you go come testify this baby. Before I come up for you, me I restart so that no fear will come again. I say God, your miracle must start today and it go end today. Now I come tell my God say, he say me will go as I say no, me will go General Hospital. Me they test me first. As we enter General Hospital, they not say, this is your small belly, small belly, carry and they go, you never reach. I say, now nah, you give me belly. Why go tell me, say? Shout fire! Shout fire! The man of God said, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. If you have your mouth, your mouth is given to, to you to do what? To mouth. So she was actually using her mouth to do what? To mouth. Clap for Jesus. Now I say, I no go. He must test me before I go. Go. Whether I belay, they worry me. I know no, I never born before. This is my first, uh, first time belay. I bet test me. Say no. I go meet another nurse. Now the nurse test me. Say, where my car? I say, I never carry anything. I go church. Papa, pray for me. You went from church to the hospital. Now, now he say, me, my husband, go pack my car. I say, no. Even though my husband go out, he don't know what he go bring. Me, I cook my food and go bring my car. Listen to this testimony. She's going to somewhere. After I reach house, my uncle cook in me. I know if he eat. I tell her, say, who she in me go cook? Now, I bet me will go hospital. This thing, I know if he hold like again. As Papa pray for me, say, they go. Me will cook my go. I know what me anything happen to me for house. As we, as we reach hospital, ba. People where they day, they sit down. Me I just call the one woman where I call me in my language, Kogi. He can't tell me, say, see, no worry, God go bring miracle nurse for you. I said, finally, now God can't do this miracle. I enter, I enter bed, five o'clock. I say, God, for this champion uh, royal assembly, where they go? I no go suffer for this belly before I go born. Hey, today, that day, before 6.30, God breathed this Bambi baby girl for me. As you can know from the other place, but I'm now fully a Christian. That is a wonderful testimony. 2000, 2005, I saw a man giving me cross on a on a, then I was a Muslim. I never knew what is happening. I went to the other side. I was telling the other people from the other side. I said, oh, "Look at what I saw." They said, hey, "Go and sit down. It's just a mere dream." But when I entered her institution, I switched off to the other religion. When I was about to marry, I was even a Christian when I married. But because of in-laws and all the rest, they say, you know, your, your husband religions ends your own career. I said, I converted again. But after I converted, a man came to me and said, that is your religion. The other one is your religion. Go back to that religion. I don't know what to do. But when I conceived, I lost my first baby. The second one, I lost it. But before I lost that, when I was pregnant for that one, a man came to me and said, this child's name is Philip. Just, he did not call the name finish. He just said, pff, pff, that is two times. That is, when Papa prophesied, he said, faith and Philip. When that name came, I don't know what to do. I just overlooked the something. When I had that baby, 10 months after, the baby died. The very day the baby died, last year, 27th um, July, I was here. But Papa was not around. I just, I just left. After, before then, the man, the man that used to come to talk to me said, 
go to my house. I will give you my children. Announce it. Up. Where is the house? I was just, I was just, I'm coming, I was just confused. But my younger sister, my our last born, I attend church, but now she's in Zuba. She now brought, she directed me to the place. I came in here. After the baby died, though, uh, when I, the very day I came in here, I could not see Papa. I, I left. I went to bury the baby. A two sister left here. Two sister came to me to meet me in the church. I'm coming. Two sisters met me in the hospital. They said, come to champion. God of champion will wake this baby. I said, when I came, I did not see Papa. I left. After I left, some days after, I saw a man. I know I saw Papa where they buried the baby. I saw Papa. When Papa now sent the, sent the woman to come and call me. When the, women, when the woman came, I was standing with another woman. When I was coming, I now saw where they dug a pit, where they dug burial, this, where they bury somebody and they dig the place. No, where they dig the baby. I don't, I, don't, I was not the way they dig, but I just, uh, I said, who dig this place? Now they've removed somebody here again. When I was coming, I now saw Papa sitting. A woman was holding the baby. Now, there was still sound on the baby. Papa was now praying for the baby. Praying, praying. He now asked me, Madam, my, my daughter, where is your baby? I said, I lost it. He said, no, you did not lost it. I held it for you. He's with me. Now look at your baby. He now prayed, prayed until the baby opened his eye. He now said, take your baby. That very day, it was him. The whole crowd, I did not know anybody there. It was only Papa and this very pastor. This very pastor was standing here and Papa was here. Dancing with the baby, dancing with the baby, dancing with the baby. Papa, Papa now said, who will you dedicate this one to? I said, I will dedicate it to you. That was when I knew that it wasn't Papa, it was Jesus I was talking to. I said, I will, talk, I will give you this. I will dedicate the baby back to you. You are the one that gave me now. I will give back the baby to you. And I said, go and tell them, I have working the baby for you. And today, here.